What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert, and today we're going to be having a look at importing tempo map from a third party DAW into Studio One. So if you recall in a previous video, which I'll include a link to, I did a video on exporting a tempo map from Studio One that could be opened up or brought into third party DAWs such as Pro Tools or Logic Pro. So now in this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a look at the opposite order. And that's basically that you've started your work in either Pro Tools or Logic Pro or another DAW, and you need to import a tempo map because you've already got your markers set up and any tempo changes and whatnot, and you need to import that into Studio One. So as of the time I'm doing this video, and that's version 3.3.1 of Studio One, this is the way that we would go about doing this. So I've got a folder open here in a finder window, it'd be an explorer window on a PC. And all I really need to do here is I've done the exact same thing. I've taken a MIDI track and I've exported it from Pro Tools. And in the MIDI track, it has all the tempo information and all the time signature changes, tempos, all of that stuff. So all we need to really do is select this file here and we can just drag it here. Now you'll see, do you wanna load general MIDI sounds for this file? I'm gonna go ahead and click no because I just want to generate the actual tempo map. So let's go ahead and just see what we're working with over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open up the tempo track over here. And also we can open up the marker track. Now you can see here that we have all of our changes. We've got our start, our verse, our chorus, our bridge. We've got our tempo changes over here. And if we wanted to, we could very easily, by right-clicking here, create arranger sections for markers. I could go ahead and very quickly set up arranger tracks for this over here. So I could very quickly start editing and start working right away. And then I could just determine what I want to do with this. In this particular case, I'm just going to hide this. But now, essentially, we have the foundation of our track that could have been started somewhere else. And if I had a 2-mix to import, I could go ahead and import that audio file and just make sure I spot it to the proper position. And then we could go ahead and start working in Studio One. So that's opening or extracting a tempo map from a MIDI file from a third-party DAW into Studio One. At this time, we're not able to import it directly and it's gonna start a new session. And most likely the session is gonna to default to 44.1. So if you wanted to work in a different sample rate, before you've imported any audio, what I would do is I would just go ahead and I would choose the sample rate that I wanted to work with. Go ahead and apply that, click okay. And now we can go ahead and start recording and we have all of our tempo information that's been derived from our other DAW. Anyways, so I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.